Okay, how is everybody doing today? I uh, got my echo chamber primed here and um, this wall is the old drywall and I had a bit of a bubble pull up because it's you know 1967 drywall that wasn't painted so I cut around it because I don't want a bubble on the wall and uh, it turned out the whole drywall behind it was crumbled so I chipped that out I got to plaster that and uh, then I'm gonna get going on some color okay got the first coat of gray on the soffits and the side walls and the back wall uh, the front wall is going to be black just like the ceiling so uh, I just uh, cut that cut the gray over and then I'm gonna cut the black around it I guess um, over here uh, the the patch as I pulled the paper off a bunch of chunks came out so that's going to be a that's going to be a couple patches because it's kind of deep and it's dripping out so I'm going to have to uh, wait till that dries sand it tomorrow and patch it again so it looks like I'm going to have to just touch up that one spot uh, I don't see any bubbles in the rest of the wall though, so that is the good news I think the uh, primer did its job and sealed it up so I'll be back with more Okay, well, still painting here. Got the front wall black this morning before work. Um, took my time cutting around the edges, got it pretty straight. It's definitely gonna need another coat. Uh, it's darker than what the camera says because the camera thinks everything's middle tone, but uh, so it's adjusting for it. But, uh, I gotta do another coat. The wall patch here, or where the uh, where the paper peeled up off the drywall is, uh, it crumbled and got deeper than it should have been. So it's uh, it took three or four coats of plaster, and then I sanded, and uh, it took a while for it to dry because it was shrinking and going into the wall. And then I'd have to put another coat on, but uh, so I just put a little primer on it. So I put this this old-fashioned fan here that came with the house to get that primer dry as fast as possible, so I can put the color on. Because I was going to do another coat or the final coat tonight of this uh, carbon copy. It's called from Bear because it is bleeding through in a couple couple little areas. You can see where the you know, whatever. Doesn't not, paint does not coat in one coat, even though they say guaranteed one coat. I'm like I'm pretty sure they never have to honor that warranty. <laughs> okay, well, uh, hour and a half later, I cut in all around the edges, and I got a whole nother coat of the gray on, and I think we're good on the gray. Uh, I used this spotlight here to uh, to look for any flaws so I could really see them. The room's gonna be dark, the lights will be dim when when I'm using it, so I figure if there's, if I use a bunch of light to paint it, then you'll never see any of the flaws when I'm actually using the room. So pretty psyched, it's starting to set up. Uh, the lines disappear when, when it dries. It's already, it's already getting that kind of matte finish. This is just reflection here uh, on that wall. But then I just need one more coat of black on the front wall and it should be all good. Then I'll let it sit for a couple days and then I can start terminating all the, uh, all the face plates. Putting all the outlets in and putting the black face plates up. I just want to give it a couple good days for it to dry down so the face plates don't stick to the wall and uh, should be good this is bare marquee so they say it's like it's like seven days or something until it's really set but i got a dehumidifier in here probably should have turned that off actually for the audio here it's just an echo chamber anyway but um uh, i'm gonna suck the moisture out of the paint as good as i can because i just leave that running 24 7. 
So I'm pretty excited. If I, uh, if I can get dinner cooked and get up early enough, I'm gonna paint the front wall and then I'm done. So getting pretty, pretty excited. Other than have to paint trim, uh, the baseboard is going to be the same black color, uh, and then we got to trim around the door, and actually I got to paint the inside of the door as well to match the wall. So when the door is closed, it doesn't look like there's a door there. In the dark, anyway. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next progress video. Have a good one.